Hey guys, it's Navjot Singh Jadeja and in today's lecture uh, we are going to talk on C programming and the today's topic is features and structure of the C language. So in earlier videos I have given you idea of what uh, you know C programming is all about, uh, what the basic programming is all about. Also I have given you idea about algorithms and the flowchart. So today we are going to talk on uh, C. Also the features of the C is the reason uh, why most of the universities prefer the students to you know learn C language uh, in compared to any other languages so one is what is C programming so in general process of giving the instructions to computer using the language C is known as C programming so here we are giving a set of instructions which are given to the computer using a uh, compiler of C language and here we have the history of C so basically ANCC initially started with the basic programming language in 1960 which was then upgraded in 67 by BCPL which they came up with in 70 as in the B language. So Mr. Thompson was the one who proposed the B language. Then we had uh, Dennis Ritchie writing the traditional C which over the period of time has become now NCC with the committees and the you know updates. So the version which you are using nowadays is the ANSI C version of the programming. So ANSI is the American National Standard Institute uh, who work, which works on the you know standardization of different uh, IT related protocols. Now uh, as a side uh, we are going to discuss on features of C language. The features which make C the most preferred and widely used language as far as the usage is concerned, learning programming is concerned or even university syllabus is concerned. So what are the features of C which makes it different than the other languages? So first of all C language is a robust language. So when I say robust the programs written in C are very robust. It is not something wherein they crash uh, regularly irrespective of the you know situations or the hardware. Then there are wide variety of built-in functions. So as we go along in the lecture we will be seeing what are functions and we will also see how different functions which are built in functions, user defined functions there in C. But C has a very diverse libraries in terms of usage wherein the built in functions are available for wide variety of applications. Then it is a very structured programming language. So in the further part of the video itself we are going to see the structure of the C language. There again we will discuss. So C is considered one of the very structured language and it is uh, you know one of the basis of procedural programming a paradigm in the programming world then uh, it is having the combination of assembly language as well as high level language and that is why in fact it is known as the middle level language that it has the you know the speed and the agility or the robustness of the high level languages and uh, uh, sorry the you know assembly languages and also the you know user uh, you know interface and other things similar to the high level languages. So features of C includes that C is also a middle level language. It is very efficient and fast. So uh, once you start programming with C you realize it is also very lightweight. So programs written in C are very easy to transfer and uh, run on different machines. It is highly portable. So when I say portable I am not saying it is uh, platform independent. When I say portable that means it is something wherein I can run a code written in C program in my machine and take it to some other machine and still run it very easily. So these are the features of C language. These are the features which make C a very important and a very uh, you know, diverse learning platform. That is why as I said uh, when you are in the university or you are learning the programming initially. So uh, prefer uh, learning through C so that you will have a lot of other uh, languages easily learned or adapted to. Now uh, moving further there is one more thing which I want to add up is it has the ability to extend. So the program written in C can be very well uh, extended also. So that was the features of the C language. Now that we have seen this let us see the basic structure of the C program. Uh, this is very important because over the period of time when you are programming in C if you remember this structure you will avoid a lot of unnecessary uh, hassles or you would also avoid a lot of errors plus if you follow this 
debugging of your programs will become very important. Also, once you go along and uh, learn other subjects and move into the higher order languages and do the software development, structuring will also help you following certain coding standards. So what is that? Uh, you can refer to one of the lectures on the channel on coding standards. So if you are having good structure of programming, it helps you in maintaining that standard. So let us see what is the structure of C program. So the first part is the documentation section, an optional section, but a very good section if you are to use that. Then we have the link section where we link the different libraries, header files, other thing. Then comes the definition section. So if you are defining global variables, global functions, and uh, each of the example of the same will be discussed in the further videos on the channel. So refer to uh, variable declaration and also refer to different functions in the C in the channel. You will come to know how and uh, where we can declare different functions. So this is global definition section. Then global declaration section. So if you want to declare global uh, variables, that too you can declare here. Then comes the main function which is the, the heart of the C program. So main function is denoted by the keyword main and the brackets opening and the closing. And then there are braces which define the boundary of the main function. And inside that you have the executable code. So this is the basic structure of the C program. And uh, in further videos of the uh, you know C programming, if you follow this, you will be enjoying your programming well. And as I said, you can actually reduce a lot of errors as well. So this is the basic structure of C program. These are the basic functionalities and features of C program. And if you are adding any, you know, the sub program or the user defined function, you can add it after that. And again, you have to declare it in the global declaration section. So this is, uh, as I said, the user defined functions, which we might be using in the further lectures. So that is it for the features of C as well as the basic structure of C program. I hope you like the videos and if you have any uh, queries, you can always comment in the comment section below. You can also refer the C programming video tutorial series in the link below. So you can go step by step, follow the programs and instructions and learn it. And if you have any other queries and suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. Like the channel, subscribe the channel and uh, have a good day.